In this video, we're going to work out this limit. So find the limit of S sub n as n approaches infinity. So let me go ahead and write down the limit notation. So limit n goes to infinity of this expression here. So one over n squared, I'll use the bracket, n, n plus one, all over three. Good stuff. Okay, so basically you just have to look at the leading terms. Um, remember, this is n squared and this is n squared. So it's n squared over n squared. So they both have the same degree. So the answer is gonna be the ratio of the leading coefficients. So if you multiply this out up top, the highest degree term is gonna be n squared. On the bottom, the highest degree term is three n squared. And so basically it's just this number over this number. So it'd just be one over three and that would be the answer. So you just look at the leading coefficients. For example, say it was, say it was uh, two n to the fourth plus six over seven n to the fourth plus n. The highest degree terms are n to the fourths, so it'd be two over seven, because they match. Whenever these numbers match, you just divide these numbers. It's the same thing here, right? We have n squared, three n squared, so one over three. Same thing here, two over seven, two over seven. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.